point, but uh, when I was growing up a Christian, we would always enjoy hearing the stories of great sinners. Okay. Like they'd come to the church and they'd talk about how you know, they didn't care about God's law and they didn't care about secular law, but they'd drink and smoke and chase women and you know, do drugs and were degenerates and now they found God and they've turned their life around and they've you know, gotten married and raised kids and you know, and like there's this real ethos in Christianity is like, yeah, let's celebrate the sinners and like hug them to our breast and like the penitent sinner is is, you know, just such a wonderful thing. Now you'll find plenty of Jewish texts that say this. Rish Lakish. Right. Who was used to be a robber. He was a bandit, yeah. A bandit and became a Torah scholar and there's another text that says like where uh, a, a penitent stands, you know, even the high priest can Uh, Rachav, she was a hooker. She was a hooker. She was a hooker and she ended up marrying, the, you know, the god of Lador. Mm -hmm. Right. But as far as, like, Jewish life works, we don't have, like, we don't flock to books and lectures by, you know, sinners. We don't get this as much of a, a charge out of it. Like, you're not supposed to remind people of things they've done before. And generally speaking, you shouldn't say yourself like the terrible but I gotta be I gotta be I, I gotta be honest with you mm -hmm. I, I can't walk down the street with at least 10 people going wow Levy Ford he went from being you know right, right, right. What, what women want to, right, you right. know like now he's the moral leader right, right, you right. Know, like wow so I'm not like a good exemplar of you know which you know generally speaking once you become religious you don't like keep talking about well, no, because you don't want people to know you're BT or a gear because uh, then you're not. Gonna and even shit it's just it's just not it's just not. <laughs> you're gonna be second class. It's just not it's not proper, like to be you know frequently referring to the you know the carnal things that you did before you became religious. Now, I know I would never. I, I can't stand people like you know every ten minutes they gotta like tell you how they bang some black chick. Or exactly, it's like, like it's, it's just tasteful. It's, it's, just tasteful. it's just not the Torah's way. No, that's not the Torah way. You hear somebody do that and you. You, you know it. you're dealing with a psycho. Yeah. <laughs> and it's like it kind of makes a joke of their whole conversion. Yeah, it like, really, yeah. Because they're like, they're, it's obvious that they're yearning, you know, <laughs> that they're this close <laughs> to like plunging back into the flesh pots of Egypt. You know that like when you leave, you know, that they're like running out the door chasing some black chick. You know that like, you know, when you're gone, they. Close the door and they close the blinds yeah, and they, they call. Come, they come out of the closet. They call. You know, the blacks have such funny names. But, you know, Yolanda. Yolanda. Yolanda, baby. <laughs> or, or Rishon. No. Keisha. Keisha. Yeah, exactly. You know, and it's like you're, you're just mocking Toro when you do that. And it's really not okay no it's not right it's yeah. not right and it, frankly it makes me ill <laughs> <laughs> I when people do that it's like you know it's so obvious that they're like longing to be back you know plunging into various women it's like it's just like visceral you like you tune in you want to get some torah talks and there's this guy he's talking about banging chicks it's terrible black chicks it's terrible it's like Outrageous. You know, his fantasies about his, you know, it's music horrible. teacher from elementary school. Oh, God, that's just, and there's no just, place for that. It's just like this immorality, uh -huh. this filth, it's like just spewing from his lips. It's, yeah, it's, a, yeah, it's and like, like, and it's, it's like, okay, you know, if you're going to do that, that's fine, but don't do it on a Torah show. Like, the Torah should be, should be holy, and should be treated with the respect it deserves, and just like, you know, you got filthy, squalid sexual fantasies that you have to share with the world. You know, please just don't do it on the Torah show. Like, is that too much to ask, Rabbi? No, I... Is that too much to ask? I think that's the that, minimum. That for, for a convert to Judaism or a penitent, a Baal Tshuva, like, keep your filthy, disgusting, sexual fantasies, you know, past transgressions, keep them out of my Torah show. Absolutely. It's like, we're trying to build, like, a holy community, we're trying to build a holy show, we're trying to live a life of Torah, like the, 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 the Torah that's just not, you know, coming, tripping off our lips, but like Torah that infuses a whole personality. Like so that... It can't just be in the books. It's, it's just got to be in the books. Gotta it's got to be... Penetrate. It's got to penetrate. Yeah. And it's got to be real. And it's got to be, you know, tactless. And it's got to 
like really get into the paws of someone. And like when you tune into a Torah talk show and there's a guy going, yeah, what you need is a black check. They'll sort you right out. It's like, how dare you speak to a rabbi that way? Seriously. How dare you speak to a rabbi that way? Have you no respect for the rabbi? <laughs> <laughs> Have you no respect? Have you... As they Where said, is your decency? As they said to Justice McCarthy, <laughs> Sir, have you no decency? <laughs> Boom. Lady's bringing it down. That's going to be a highlight to clip tomorrow. Makes okay. me sick. 